playing Viathan, and here we go, guys. Run starting. Let's go. Zoom, zoom. Here we go. Ah, oh, his weak word didn't work. Ah, oh, his weak word didn't work. Oh my god. Was he in combat the whole time? Big rip. Big rip on the start, but that's fine. We already have the hunter already moving forward to pull. So the hunter in our runs is doing pet pull. Um, hunter in some of the other runs is doing uh, TBC rocket boot in and, and using cloak to get down there instantly. And then you'll use deterrence so you can't get hit from the mobs. And they'll use sapper, shui wu. All right, rocket boot in. There's a sentinel. Melee say, fuck that. Melee, do not go attack that sentinel. It has been up for a long time. It's going to do a whirlwind and it's going to slap your face. All right. Gather all this shit up. Spread your diseases and blast, boys. Let's go. Oh, let me change my... So you guys can see the frames. Sorry. There you go. Timer starts on Flame Leviathan Death for speedruns, guys. Timer starts on Flame Leviathan Death. And if you haven't seen many speedruns before... The most important consumable in the game is this one that has a 111 minutes. If you can see it, 111 minutes. That is called Swiftness of Zanza. That that consumable gives you 20% haste or movement speed, not haste. Sheesh kebabs. 20% movement speed, guys. It makes your character move quicker. And if the entire raid moves faster, where transit time is like the biggest stopping gap in this raid, you're going to save time throughout the entirety of the raid, right? So we only started using these a couple weeks ago to take uh, old war speedruns a little more serious. You're also going to notice in... What's his... Okay, right now, Winnie's going to stop attacking. Watch this. All right. Winnie's going to stop attacking. He fucked up. He just procced greatness right there. Literally just proc greatness. He's probably like, fuck me, dude. He was going to stop attacking. He just proc greatness and Comet's Trail before the boss comes down. Little unfortunate there. Little unfortunate. He's not going to have an insane razor skill. It's fine, though. He went to stop attacking, too. You saw it, right? You saw it, right? Um, sad. She's, but that's fine. It, it happens. Um, little unfortunate. No comets or greatness during during uh, Gary. He should be getting bopped. So watch here. He should be getting bopped right as the knock is about to go out. Bop goes out. Boom. You cancel aura the bop. Doesn't get moved. Bops are assigned to Death Knights because that's the Chad class and they pump. That's just a fact. As you can see, Windy's still number two on the meters here for overall. Go and slurp up as much runic power as you can here. It is a DPS increase for you. Huge DPS increase, actually. Especially if you have the sigil, Death Coil is one of your hardest hitting abilities. It might literally be your hardest hitting ability. Always, always make sure you're min-maxing as much slurp of runic power as humanly possible if you want to min-max a, a DK in overall damage always whatever happens that can slurp you up fucking runic power use it and spam death coil bam death coil all right this is a really nice ignis really nice ignis pull okay we're gonna see the first knock up go out in a in a few seconds kind of um windy was not able to swap his trinkets to get good trinkets man i'm critical as fuck right now all right, now Gary's gonna be summoned. Gary spawned, Army of the Dead. Gary won't be silenced. You'll full send, you'll bloodlust and, and send everything. Now rip the boss apart. And now just watch the meters in a second. Just enjoy these meters here, guys. Look at that. Vasco at 12K. Windy and Psycho just jumping. Windy and Psycho just jumping. I need that Gary cast week aura. Uh, I can send it to you if you DM me. I have, we have the same one. And here you go into Blood Presence as you get knocked up here. Uh, it's like the last second of your Gargoyle. Oh my god. The last Gary got summoned late. It looks like Nord's Gary just got summoned. It's going to miss on a lot of things. It might, it's missing out on, on Bloodlust. He might have not had procs or he might have gotten gripped early actually. Okay, here, here is actually a DPS increase for you. If you have AMS, getting gripped is a DPS increase for you because of how much runic power you get. And spamming Death Coil, like I was saying earlier, guys. It is actually good for Unholy DKs. If you have AMS. Only if you have AMS. 
So Psycho and Windy here pumping, right? And our boy Lomu, number one on overall damage right now. Okay, he doesn't have a timer, but we need people or the boss to be kited a little further. You want to be closer to the exit, as close to the exit as possible. Slurp up runic power again, guys. Every chance you get, you can see it. Windy is is consistently like Windy is, is easily one of the best DKs in the world. Easily. He swapped off Comet's trail. Swapping his trinkets, as you can see. Comet's trail back on. So that it will proc at a good time for the boss. That's going to be put it on a 30 second ICD. The big thing is, or you want the comments to proc. Um, it'll, it'll do the full ICD. You, you want comments to proc right as you're about to summon Gary. Right as you're going to hit that 75%. They actually benched me? No, I'm in three runs. I don't have four characters. I don't have four speedrun characters. I can't speedrun on the Warlock. I'm not good enough at Warlock to speedrun in the Warlock um, compared to a lot of the world's best Warlocks. I only have three characters to speedrun on. So I have speedrun on three characters. There's the Army of the Dead. There's the Gary. Swapped on Holy Presence. Blast the heart. Heart's going to get absolutely deleted. Trinket swaps are, are huge for Unholy DKs. Trinket swaps are, are huge. Timing out your trinkets is really big. Okay. Big DPS, both DKs at 15k. Two of the DKs at 15k right now, right? Nice play from our board Nord, Nord also. All right, boss being pulled towards the exit. Beautiful. Another time, guys, I, I, I try to call this out often, but like transit time, right? The reason why Swiftness of Zanza is the biggest consumable in the game, it's not a DPS increase for single target bosses. You're barely losing out on damage, actually. But overall, it's a huge damage increase because you're moving faster, you're connecting faster. And always pulling bosses or the next pull towards, the, towards where you're going. Always moving forward. Um, is always going to save you a little bit of time. And, and all of those little bits of time, like six seconds to 10 seconds on every boss room, that little bit of time uh, adds up massively, right? Throughout the raid, massively. Also, gripping the... the gripping the, the ad there feels really bad, right? Um, not the ad, the fire elemental. That, that sucks. And the reason why you saw Windy move over there, even though he didn't have the debuff, was he was slurping up Runic Power. Again, always slurp Runic Power as often as possible. So you can spam Death Quail, especially if you have the Sigil. Death Quail is insane. So look at the meters. Windy on top, 11.5k. Kids pumping. Why does he have Glaives? Because those are the best weapons in the game for uh, Death Knights. But it's like because of the proc. Uh, he's using Imorph. He's using Imorph. He's using Imorph. It's, he's not a Torin. He's not a Torin warrior in full Dreadnought gear, right? He needs to mount. Yep, yeah, mount. And then Rocket Bootin right here. Get your DD down. Get Gary up. Actually, no Gary. No Gary anymore. Um. This pull dies too fast to Gargoyle. Somebody has threat. A little bit scary. A little bit scary. It's fine. The, the dwarves are going to die. They got stunned. Okay. This this does hurt the raid, though. This does hurt a little bit because of it just being out of place and not everything dying at the same time. A little bit of time lost there, but that's fine. Everyone's going to hug the right here, and they're going to pull the right mob. This mob was in a really shitty position. It looks like there was a gargoyle use. It did actually, though, move with the group really well. Hmm. Okay. All right. 
Now, moving on to the next. Okay. New class called Demon Hunter, yeah. It's it, that's why because he's playing a Demon Hunter. It's it's uh, the hero class. All right. After these guys do their cast, they're immobile while they're casting. Right. After they do their cast, you want to move them and start dragging them. So right after this ends, you want to move them and start dragging them. And it, it would be good if uh, if Windy could slurp up a little bit of runic power on this fight. Everyone needs to be in. This needs to be yoinked and then gripped. All right, there's the grippers. There's the grippers. Let's go. Bend it, guys. All right, how fast are they? Let's look. Taco has Taco has has a timer. All right, 20 seconds ahead on XT death. Not bad. The question is, will the new tech work out? Will the new tech work out? Also, AMS on overload is actually so. Little known thing, guys. AMS removes removes your buff from the rune. If you have AMS on, you cannot get the debuff from the rune getting power. You need to cancel aura AMS. So you AMS the last second right before overload and then cancel aura it. Most death knights have no idea about that. Um, to use glaives, he's he's. Oh uh, shit! All right, so this is pretty bad RNG. No, no, no rune yet. Really shitty RNG on this fight. This this sucks. This is probably the the most RNG fight there is. This is the fucking. If Runa Death doesn't come out quick, they they need a lust. They they have. To, all right, a lust has to be sent. It's like kill him with this Runa Death. Unfortunate as it is, fucking full send. Kill Molgheim, you know. Uh, Garys are going to be summoned. Army of the Dead's are going to be used. DPS needs the pump here. This is this was a really shitty rune of power. Uh, it just was really late from the boss. It happened. All right. All right, make sure they kill it. All right, DJ, they need, not everyone needs to be on top of the tank. All right, DJ's kind of teleporting. They're gonna need a combat res. There was no time there to get the, uh, no time there to get a, a little uh, soul stone off at the end. So you need a combat res. The pull needs to happen almost per, like almost right away. Disease is up. Disease is spread. D and D downs. Gary summoned Army of the Dead out. And diseases refresh those and then get desolation. He doesn't have a. There it is. Desolation rolling. Does didn't have what's it called? Didn't have blood tap yet, so desolation was is hard to get up early on this fight without it. 18k opener here from from Psycho. 18.5k opener here from Psycho. Big pump. Why glaives? Best weapon in the game. Aesthetically. Aesthetically. All right, this rubble is in, this rubble is terrifying. Be aware that this rubble is terrifying. You do not want to die to this rubble. Don't pull aggro on it. Move forward quickly. Go, 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 go. Boom. No deaths here. A lot cleaner than last last run. There we go. There we go. Yeah, you do more damage if you look cool. Haste for Gary five then. Oh, Arya is super close. Arya is super close. Let's see if, if it doesn't chain. Okay, that was a little bit scary. All right, they're gonna need a chain. All right, they're gonna need to chain the distracts. Chain distracts and nuke the sphere. The sphere needs to die. Oh, did one of those get buffed? No, okay. 
The spheres need to die. That was a little bit like people didn't turn on the spheres fast enough. Spheres, 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 spheres. And there's no slow trap right now from Hunter. All right. Here it is. Instantly into the... Instantly in. Oh, make sure that threat is a little bit scuffed here. Red red went down to one HP. All right. That was a little bit scuffed. That was a little bit scuffed. Summon your, your Gary. And pumping. Okay. Army of the dead now. All right, recovered. Super scary. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is one of the scariest fights in this entire instance. It just is. It just happens to be the scary one, okay? Um, teams love to wipe to it. Clean, though. Clean. Super close to losing the, the, the red paladin. Red almost went down. Did actually stay alive. And didn't have to use the battle res. So, so far, everything's looking smooth. Do know that this is where Cope is healing. So, this is where we have our elemental shaman healing right now. The Holy Paladin is doing the Mimron pull. You can see it in the top right corner. Holy Paladin is away right now doing Mimron pull. All right. Do you see everyone eat those? Nobody die. Already a lot cleaner than last pull, last raid. Already a lot cleaner than last raid. Uh, there is a miss on the Hodge, on the Defender. A little bit intimidating. They're going to get feared. Or resist. Eh? Okay. Longest fear of all time. Defender did jump, but didn't kill anyone. And now they move in. Okay. Champions, you can use three action potions here. Yes, the consumable from Classic. Uh, to make sure you don't get stunned on these champions. And another thing you could do is be a Death Knight and um, make yourself immune to stuns. The first champion, though, you can usually kill before any of the suns go out. The second one you can also do if done well. Little Rocket Putin looking juicy. All right, we'll give it. We'll give you guys take note POV for the. Uh, we'll give you guys taco note POV for for Hodir because warlocks are chads on. Oh, we have the double pull. The double pull. This is big. This is Bill. A little bit intimidating. A lot of damage can go out. People definitely want to make sure they don't die. Um, don't get stunned. Don't AOE. Don't over aggro. There's no, there's no holy paladin here. Okay. As long as it's clean. This is like the corner of death. If you're in any of your raids and any of your GDKPs, you over pull there. That's like the corner of death lean and they actually get a combat drop so if anyone use free action pots late they are actually going to be safe juice clean and and use a combat pot or combat drop that's why they didn't kite those everyone is running straight into the boss single target down the rumbler or revenant revenant and then and then uh you're on to boss you're covering raid frames oh uh, yeah for take note all right well then we're not watching take note then Why am I, I was in the other three raids. I only have three characters for speedruns. I can't do four speedruns. I only have three characters. Um, I'm leveling my next, my third DK. Yeah. Yeah, Thompson don't die. Thompson did three point or 32K damage or DPS on this fight last time. And he died. Uh, he's going to run away for this Gary. Juicy. Juicy Gary. That Gary's never going to get interrupted. Watch Windy's damage shoot up here, guys. Those are really smart Garys. I, that was a really nice rune. All right, here it is, guys. The Keepers have been pulled in. This is the crazy pull, guys. No one's done this before, at least that I've seen. Um, the Keepers pulled in. The Spheres killed instantly. All damage is on Hodir. All damage is focused on Hodir. Look at the damage here. 18k from Windy. We do need our casters pumping way harder right now. Phil does have the, the storm cloud buff and red has it. We need the caster to get it. Red runs it over to the casters right away. These do need to be broken out really fast. Hodir is a little bit healthy right now. So the caster damage is, is wicked low, but they should be shooting up very soon. Huge pump. They, the fire is refreshed. 
Big CDs. One, one of the one of the keepers ate the ate the debuff. One of the keepers ate the debuff. They need to die actually, and you need to actually stop DPSing Hodir. Focus on those. That was rough. Okay. Clean though. Nobody dead. Nobody dead. Huge pull. Huge pull. Oh dear, using utilizing the Hodir haste buffs and the Hodir crit buffs to kill the keepers here. Kill boss and run. Kill boss and run. And a new storm cloud goes out at the very last second. And a new storm cloud goes out at the very last second. Here we go. Okay, guys. Did two people die at the end? What, JPK and Wede? And Vide? You know what? Alright guys, so I play obviously in EU. We're an EU guild. Um, what what countries all use a V sound for W's? Germany? Sweden. Sweden. Right? I... I, I I first heard it when I when back when Drask and I were like in Discord and we were talking about like getting world buffs and he was like, yeah, I just have to get VCB. And I was like, VCB? He was like, War Chief's Blessing is VCB. Very clean there so far, guys. Again, be ready for what's going on here. Oh, did they not? Okay, it did come in. All right, here's the keepers, guys. Here's the keepers again, guys. Double keepers into the boss pulls. They need to get the slow on the spheres and move the boss. Oh, they didn't eat them. They're good. They're safe. Killing the next keepers, guys. Let's go. Trying to make sure that this is a safe, safe pull. This was the scuff fight last, last raid. One of the most scuff fights last raid in the first time we were doing this. Um, Progress did this yesterday, and I think this was the first time I at least saw this pull happen. So shout out to them for for a, a really nice tech tech. Really nice to pull these keepers into the boss, guys. Oh dear timing was a little bit behind pace. We'll see with the death of this pull and the death of Freya. The keepers need to die at the same time. Keepers need to die at the same time, and Sphere needs to die actually first. So the keepers. Or just slow sphere. All right. Kill that and clean, clean. In the last, in the last raid, guys, earlier today, um, our our disc priest actually died on the first pull in the in the tunnel, which meant there was zero healers in the tunnel. We lost two and a half minutes on this fight because there was zero healers in the tunnel. It, they had to play it very safe. Oh, that is an early gargoyle. Hoping that the boss would jump down earlier, huh? Maybe because of procs, but that was a very early gargoyle we saw there. He's waiting three seconds until until he gets a Darkmoon card greatness proc. One second until Darkmoon card greatness, and there it is. Now we're going to see Gary be spawned. Gary summoned, Army of the Dead sent, and perfect timing actually here from Comet's Trail. Also, perfect timing to slurp up as much runic power as possible. That's actually pretty huge. This is a really, really clean, really well-timed. The trinkets just worked out phenomenally here for, for Windy. How do the keepers get pulled there? You use a hunter to pull the, the keepers. Hunter runs into the boss room first, uses Eye of the Beast, goes and pulls the keepers. Um, you can see it from Stead POV. Maybe it was Church POV in, in progress run yesterday. I forget which one did it. I think Stead did it. Okay, it was Church. Okay, uh, never mind. I think Church did it. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see the timer. There is one death. Psycho does go down here. I know I'm covering the raid frames, guys. I'm just not moving my camera between every fight. If I'm switching the, the POVs, I apologize. Psycho gets battle res. Psycho's back alive. We need people not to die here, though. This actually is one of the more intimidating ends of the fight. And you also really, really don't want a blizzard back here at the end of the fight, right? Rage, you need to get uh, freedom, 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 and don't get hit here. 
There was a blizzard at the beginning. The boss might do an AoE frostbolt. It looks like no frostbolt. All right. Onwards to Freya, boys. So far, so good. Actually, infinitely cleaner than last raid. Is canceling AMS on IC a real thing? Yeah. Uh, uh, anti magic shell makes it makes you immune makes you immune to the debuff of the rune of power on the ground. It's a debuff. You need to cancel aura it, or else you're sitting there with the entirety of the time of your AMS with no 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 fifty percent damage buff. Guardian Lasher needs to die fast. Boss is about to spawn in a second. Uh, a little bit scary on threat here for Windy, but these don't hit too hard. Nice. Clean. Clean, boys. Also, you guys just saw what just went out. You just saw some some beautiful, what they call it is uh, some lucky rocket clusters. You saw some fireworks go out there. Lucky rocket cluster. The buff here, it's 29 minutes, 48 seconds right now. That buff is from from classic, the Lunar Festival all the way in classic, basically. Um, and it is 250 HP for everyone. Not a big one, but uh, but every little bit helps. eh? What am I, Canadian now? Eh? Um, he doesn't actually have glaives. Everyone who's who's just tuning in, these, he doesn't actually have glaives. Aesthetically, he has glaives. Aesthetically, he has glaives, but he does not actually have glaives. He actually might AMS here to try to get some damage. There, there it is. AMS there just to get a little bit of extra runic power. All right, these three mobs die. Um, as long as they're very clean, they have another pull to do right now after these mobs die, guys. So remember, there is another pull going on here right after these mobs die because these mobs take these mobs take a while until you get the next phase, right? All right, here it is. So after the first three three pack, we're actually now pulling in this lasher pack because. Because there's no point killing it before if you have to wait for the next things to spawn anyways, right? So now AoE is going to happen. There's going to be... Let's see what goes out. All right, the Conservator. So we have the Conservator. Uh, it's an interesting time to have the Conservator right now, but it's uh, maybe safer than having the Detonating Lashers with this. Yeah. Yo, Sag Mike, what's up, dude? How are you guys doing, guys? How's everyone doing? Uh, so far, everything's looking really clean. So far, everything's clean. We had we had issues here as well in the first run. There was just a lot of deaths. The first run was just was just ridden with deaths. Um, he's allowed to get his diseases up there on the boss because now he can spread them instantly, and also it doesn't really hurt him, um, considering his his uh, ICDs were already proc, like his trinkets were already proc. So it's it, the mark of a good death knight is also always tracking your trinkets. Look at the trinkets here, guys. Watch, he's going to stop attacking in a second. Actually, no, they're killing the boss because it's the last phase. They actually are DPSing the boss down. So wait for the boss to do its AoE silence. That's not the AoE silence. Wait for the boss to do its AoE silence. Ah, this might get silenced right away. I didn't, I didn't pay attention to when the time was of the last AoE silence. Actually, it's good. Pretty good then. Huge. Huge utility out of that gargoyle. All right, Denning Latchers need to die. There's the Bloodlust. The Bloodlust honestly probably could have gotten used way earlier, right? You could have used it to DPS the Denning Latchers the entire time. Um, and there's no way you're going to get full utility out of this Bloodlust. Ah, there's no fucking... A gift might oh my god, that gift got really high. Uh yeah, look at this, look at this bloodlust. 14 seconds left on bloodlust. Very late bloodlust, but that's fine. Uh no deaths actually. And 58 seconds ahead. Let's go. Ah! Some people are a little are a little behind because of that. Everyone's in, send it. 
All right, here we go. Yeah, that was a the late bloodlust for sure. That'll be talked about. Yeah, I know, Dress. I know. Dress, I was actually talking to earlier about you because because you were the talking to you like on Discord was the first time I I, I understood that like a lot of Europeans use like a, a like a V sound for W, um, which you don't hear in the, U the U.S. Right. So like it was War Chief's, We were talking about War Chief's blessing one time back in class, and you were like, "I have to go get VCB, the double V." Yeah. <laughs> How you doing, brother? Yeah. Shock blast! Shock blast! Does he have AMS? You juicy, juicy Rudic power here from Windy. Guys, I pointed out so many times, but he does a really, really good job of always getting Runic power. It's it's really, really nice. Uh, 10k DPS from from both ferals. Double Feral at 10k DPS. Oh no. The Flame Suppressant went out right at the end. That's really not ideal. Ideally, you kill the boss before the Flame Suppressant goes out, so you're fire capped wicked early. CS on 16 game win streak. Yo, fucking beast, bro. Fucking beasting it up, dude. Let's go. Sixteen game win streak on Counter Strike is Dras fucking pro, dude. Gifted sub, gifted sub. Jru, my boy. What's the name of this guy on Twitch? This is Windy. He only will stream speedruns because we've been pressuring him to stream speedruns. Yeah. He is a very good player. We have we have really good, uh, really really good DKs in our raids. In all honesty, really fucking good DKs in our guild. It's wild how good everyone is. Yeah, professional Fortnite player. Uh, so if you go to his channel, just tell him, talk to him about like his love for Fortnite. It'll make him happy. Pressure him to get a timer week, Aura. Maybe. We'll see. He does want to get a lot of runic power here. Uh, four seconds until he can. Here, he's going to get runic power here. Maybe he's going to wait for fires to go out first. Where the fuck are the fire? Oh, five seconds. Eek. Didn't juice himself to full runic power, guys. Eek. Oh my gosh, guys. Everyone saw that, right? Imagine he could be death coiling this like crazy. All right, guys. Kill the silencing bots instantly. Rip them. Kill them. Make sure they die. Wee woo. Don't let them clear any fires. Don't let them clear any fires, guys. You should be able to spread disease there. Yeah, nice. Oh, oh my god, they moved the boss. Not the plan. All right, bring the boss down and and burn it down. Bring the boss down and burn it down. Which weapon is Windy using? He has Crescent standing in the main hand, and I believe Sorthalis offhand uh, on this character. It might be Void Saber offhand. It's not double Crest. I know that. I don't actually fully know that. I think I think that. All right. Void Sabre. Yeah. I think Wendy's almost full bis. Actually, he, he might be full bis on this character. Yeah, there you go. He just showed he just showed us. Um, he's using Cress. Yeah, or Cress and Void Saber. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. How does he change his model? There's add-ons that you can change your model to um, to change what your character looks like if you want. Uh, it can be frowned upon. You're not supposed to do it, but there are add-ons. Um, yo, is that? Oh, I was like, is that Gary in the fire? That Gary is super close to the fire. But it is really nice. All right. 
One of these is getting killed so much faster than all of the rest because of the gargoyles. Spin coming out, spin coming out, spin coming out. There was one death, needed to be res. Skedo is down right now. Skedo is down right now. That is the Disc Priest. Shock Blast is going to happen, and then the, the, to the top needs to go down. But all of the all of the Slurpers are slurping it down. The top will go down pretty fast now that, that it's in execute range for that Giga Slurper. Boom, equip boots and run. Zoom, zoom. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god. Phil is behind now. Phil is behind now. He got hit with one of the bombs. He saved somebody by procking a bomb. Um, maybe got in combat with it. So now you're gonna need you're gonna need the feral druid to start the pull. So there needs to be an MD. Oh no. That's like six seconds lost. Ah, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. That is, yeah. Bomb grief in the speed run. Actually, Iron counts RNG, but that happened uh, in the current world record run also. I believe uh, Progress had a Iron Council RNG. That was pretty rough as well. Look at the gargoyles just blasting guys, enjoying themselves. Yum, yum, yum. As you switch to the beast, make sure you switch your, your pets also, guys. Make sure your pets also swap. Only one of the DKs swap their pets. All right. You got to control your Gary there. Kill this faceless horror and run forward. As long as we have a clean run, uh, a clean pull at the begin the next section. A lot of people kind of ran forward. Uh, actually, it's the summon group. Summon group ran forward. Everyone needs to get ahead. All right. As long as this pull is done pretty quick and pretty early, we're not doing any of the crazy pulls here. There could be crazier pulls now. It's not happening. Um, here's a rocket boot in. He'll jump and then cloak. Joinks. Click off cloak. Joinks. All right, here it is, guys. Big pull coming in here. Both of the elephants are coming in now as well. Use all your CDs. General Vesax doesn't matter. It is a it is a time gated fight, so it doesn't matter if you use things like empowered rune weapon and everything here, because you're not you don't need them to pump the boss. There's no point, right? You're not. Uh, one death here. One death here gets res. He's back up. All right, these would need to go to 50% also at the same time. You're going to get both Void Beasts. And only one Void Beast needs to be broken or, or killed. Only one voice needs to be killed to actually break both of the bubbles here. So once this Void Beast is dead, you're going to start doing a little bit of AoE. Make sure you get knocked into a good place. Resist the knockback, juicers, and now you can kill the, you can kill the horrors. A little bit of threat, a little bit of high threat. Okay, gets taunted, juicy. All right, the beast is going to do a knockback here now. Okay, there we go. Really nice. Really nice. Look at the dam. Yeah, the damage. 70k DPS. 70k DPS on the pull. We're going to drop combat for a second and then move into the fight. Here it is. I'll give you guys tacos POV. Switch. Take. No, we'll give you guys taco notos POV. I'll move my, my camera for this one, okay? Because I love you guys. There you go. A minute and nine seconds ahead, okay. That rogue? Oh. Uh, you got H3. Did I say H3's name? I was just referring to the, the chat saying that. Yeah. All right. The pull is dead here. Pull that with General Vesax. Easy to do. There are crazier General Vesax pulls you can do to save more time. And we're just not doing it yet, right? Um, progress had it. Progress went with it yesterday. One of them was really good. Second run wasn't as good, obviously. Control Shift T to reopen closed tabs. 
I'm never going to remember that. Never going to remember that. But thank you. Thank you, Santa. I appreciate that. I genuinely do. Oh, Mark of the Faceless on Taco. Okay. Shadow Crash went on the tank there. Shadow Crash went on the tank. That means all of the melee are getting their first Shadow Crash. Do, 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 do. But here's the catch, guys. Um, having melee have Shadow Crash, kind of nice. I like it. Imagine living without Control Shift T. Dude, I, I live in simple times, boys. These are simple times. Your boy starts a simple man. Simple boy. They call me Simple Jack. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, take note it hasn't hit the boss. You don't need to hit the boss though. Like who your own damage on this fight is 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 so unimportant. It this is this is this fight is so unimportant. The only thing is living. The only thing that matters, right, is living and then damage during the Serenite Animus, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Superhuman Jesse. You get it. I can't say that out loud, but you get it. God, guys, does anyone remember Tropic Thunder was such a fun movie? If that came out now, it would for sure get canceled, right? But it was so fun. That movie was so funny. So far, though, the, the raid is looking really clean, really clean compared to last raid, right? There have been some deaths. Um, not everything has been perfect, but a l infinitely better than last raid. Last raid, if you missed it, guys, on our first raid, 24 deaths. 24 deaths in our first raid. That was a lot of deaths. All right, now casters don't get to DPS. Now you just stand by yourself and dance. Everyone's calling about their pet, but they should set their pet on pet stay. Pet stay near boss. There's like multiple warlocks that don't have their pet. We'll see if they uh, if they heard that. The pets are just gonna get knocked. Won't have uptime on the boss. Uh, when you stop DPSing here, you literally just set your pet on stay. Don't don't pull it back. I mean, it's triggering as a hunter main guy, right? There it is. There it is. That's how long the delay is probably. There it is. You see that pet that went in? Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. All right, let's see how the run goes, dude. How do you swap Gary's targets? Recall your pet towards yourself, so pet stay or pet follow, and then send your pet on the next attack on the next mob. Uh, you can control Gargoyle. Gargoyle does follow what you've summoned or sent your actual ghoul on, um, but you have to recall your ghoul most of the times to make it work perfectly. So recall your ghoul. And then full send it. That's how you control your, your Gary. Yeah. If anyone were to over aggro, it would just be a bop. Who got knocked? Oh, oh, okay. That was just uh, unfortunate for the for the mirrors. All right. The boss needs to stop getting healed. Shadow crash needs to be good. Boss did get healed a little bit. It's at 4%. You want the boss right at the end here to literally be at 1%, right? You want the boss to just instantly die. Instantly die. Okay. Reset on pets on follow. Rocket boots and in. And the boss didn't bug out. The boss didn't bug out. Let's go. All right. Here we go. We're back to the, the, the Giga Chad DK POV with glaives. DK POV with glaives, guys. Let's go. This is looking... Uh, we, it's just got to be a, a clean one phase um, and a clean Algalon. Oh, my God. It's looking good right now. 
Spawn more clouds? You instantly spawn more clouds. You you instantly spawn more clouds. Clouds need to go as fast as you can. And then you can see as the, the caster group literally never moves. So they can do more DPS during this phase. You continue standing still and you will proc clouds the entire time while you're standing still, right? But you're always proccing clouds. All right. If you, if you ever get too many, you try not to proc more. Okay. All right, now they're going to stop proccing clouds. Everything that has been summoned or spawned is there. Um, all right. Interrupts, beautiful interrupts here. These two need to go down and then it's over. This one goes down and it's over. All right, AMS, beautiful. No deaths, no deaths, no deaths. There are way too many, so there were too many spawns. Um, it was very gross. Vide down. Rough death here. Thank you so much for the sub. Technically, this isn't a time gate, so it's fine. But Melee needed to just say, fuck it. Melee needed to just say, fuck it. Melee needed to not die to this. They just need to kill these. Toxic with the... I have to scroll all the way up. Toxic with the 50 gifted subs. I'm gonna... I'm gonna make it really quiet. Toxic with the 50 gifted subs. That puts us at 5,000 and like, I don't know, dude, 5,000. How many subs? 5,021, no, 5,071 subs then? Oh my God. Toxic, you fucking beast. You absolute beast. Guys, welcome to the 5,000 sub channel. It's real. All right. Two tentacles are alive. Watching out for all of this, guys. All right. All right. Decent room. Decent room. Decent room. Better room than last time. Way better room than last time. Go to your, go to your tentacle. Tentacles need to die. We had really, really ugly tentacles last raid. Really, really bad tentacles last raid. Um, it was super slow. This is way better. Way, way, way better. Okay, this should easily be a one phase. With the DPS in this, in this group, this is a giga easy one phase. Send Gargoyle, send Army of the Dead, send everything. Sapper if you have to. Blow up this brain. Joe. Let's go. Super clean room. Yeah. Everyone knows Glaives are DK Biss, guys. Okay. Really, 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 really nice. Brain is getting destroyed here. 20 seconds left. They're gonna be they're gonna be fine. It's actually not super ahead. They're not like super ahead, but they're ahead, right? The 10 seconds, eight seconds when the brain hits 30. Not risking it, letting it go red just to be safe. Did we get the bugs? No, juice. Toxic, thank you so much for the 50 gifted. Seriously, thank you. Thank you for the 50 gifted, oh my God. Um, this is currently on pace for world record. Windy does have to dismiss his pet. Do know that sometimes your pet doesn't come out of the brain room. Um, you can technically like run out of the water here and it, it helps. It can help. He does really need to get uh, blood plague up. He doesn't have plague up. There it is. Okay. Lost a lot of DPS there because of that, unfortunately, but not too bad. Not too bad. Guys, my sub sounds are so ridiculous. Let's listen to this one. This procs. Rocket boot. Everybody put your rocket boot. Yeah! That's our boy Orlando! There we go. What happened to the beard? I shaved this morning. Uh. 49 minutes right now? Yeah, this is gonna be a this is world record for sure. This is This is this is world record for sure. Summoning Fell Hunter. You're out of combat here. And look how every warlock set their portal so they can move faster. Boom. Teleport. Beautiful. As long as you're the clean Algalon, this is fucking fast. This is a good run. I'm not yeah. Knocked on wood. You're right. Let's go, guys. Clean Algalon, and this is it. Really fast, really clean. Uh very low deaths. A lot of new tech in this run, guys, that we haven't seen in any other runs ever so far. 
obviously some tech that we first saw publicly yesterday from progress so shout out to progress for for using some crazy crazy moves in their run um let's see how this goes progress did have some scuffed runs though yesterday so their times yesterday will be a lot faster here guys you want to make sure you try to bait the bot or bait this mob forward also we can just check really fast i think windy did yo kaza king kaza king with the five gifted look at look at his look at his trinkets so windy swapped his trinkets before fighting before, before fighting that mob beautiful kaza king dude i miss you dude happy 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 days man i hope you're doing great bro i hope you're doing great man oh my god all right here it is greatness procs beautiful greatness proc there it is all right gary's about to be summoned gary's gary's out army of the dead oh i swapped to that was nord that swapped trinkets all right this is nord's pov dude i miss you i hope you, how's your job dude how's life we pulled keepers into hodir and we pulled keepers into uh forum as well well that was two of the things did you guys para Damn, you know what? I missed it because I heard I heard things went wrong in the run later and I didn't end up watching it because I was going to watch it afterwards. Fuck yeah. Psycho with the 15k DPS opener here. Windy with the 15k DPS open here. Nord 14k. Look how far the portal is here, guys. Look how far the portal is for everyone. This is a little bit intimidating because you need to get to Big Bang really early. DJ could pull the boss towards the portal. I honestly think that would be a safe pull. Okay, the portal is really far. Remember guys, the portal is, you don't even see the portal. They need to get, and you need to get in really fast. All right. All right, DJ's moving the boss. Beautiful, beautiful movement here. Get ready to move in quick. Boom. Everyone move in quick. Quick, 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 quick. All right. All of the SARS will die during this. All of the SARS are dying right now to Curse of Dooms. All right. All the SARS are dying to Curse of Dooms. And so far, everything's looking actually pretty clean. All right. Let me turn my music back up. Is my music even playing? Can you guys hear it? Uh, it's quiet. It's it's Tiesto. Here. All right. Here we go, boys. Here we go, guys. Algalon going down fast here. Windy 11k DPS. Psycho 11k DPS. Lomu at 10.5k also. A lot of pumpage here. A lot of that damage from, from DKs, though, can be hitting this Constellations, right, with uh, Death and Decay and stuff. Star exploding near the near the melee, moving the boss. Be a little bit intimidated here. That's fine. Um, oh, he could have juiced up. He could, Nord could, Nord, Nord actually could use his AMS. No, there it is. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm wrong. He has two right next to each other. It's on 30 seconds CD. Always AMS to, to get as much runic power as possible, guys. Always get as much runic power as humanly possible. You still can't hear, hear the music? It's fine. I don't want it to be too loud. I know, right? Go early. Go early. Don't risk it. As long as Algalon is clean, this is going to be it, guys. The current world record is 50, 55 minutes and 40 seconds. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. 55 minutes, 42 seconds. It's current world record. New gargoyles are summoned here. All three gargoyles out on the boss. He's getting sent down 54, not sub 54, but it looks like we're going to have the 54 minute and potentially 11 seconds. Let's see how this goes. 54, 13. There it is. Let's go, boys. Let's go. New world record. Because this is obviously going on YouTube. So, guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the run. I, I love breaking down and, and watching these speed runs. Um, but if you want to see one of the world's or maybe the world's best Frost DK, uh, I'm Lomu. I'll have a link in the description. If you want to see some of the world's best unholy DKs, there's this guy named Sarth. He was benched for this run because he's not good enough um, or because he doesn't have enough characters. Both of that. Both of that. 
and we we died too many times in the run before this to have the world record that goes up on youtube r.i.p either way uh you can check out windy or norden tv those guys are blasters but huge gz to to the guild Grats guys that was really clean 